Vegas Eve Chicken and Rice. Obligatory Luna. This guy, we haven't shown him in a while. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making fancy chicken and rice. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'd like to talk a little bit about my life. I know you didn't wanna hear about it, but here we go talking about it. I've been on dialysis for two years. I need a kidney. Please visit kidneyforhans.com for more information. I wanted to dedicate this meal to all the people on dialysis. Everything I'm cooking and all the ingredients are dialysis friendly. So here we go. We are going to start off with the rice. Oh, I can't cuss. We are going to start off with the rice. I have an Instapot right here. All we're gonna do is take two cups of rice, take our screen. This is one cup. We're gonna dump it right in here. There we go. I'm using white rice. More of my speed. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're not baking. More of my speed. So I'm putting about two cups of rice in here. Once we rinse that, we're gonna put in a little bit of our frozen veggies. We have corn, carrots, peas, and these, and these, and these, and these weird long green ones. Green beans? Green beans. Ding, 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 ding. We're gonna add just a pinch of this delicious Cuban island spice. We're gonna add in some Rosemary from Spain. Mm -hmm. A little salt, a little pepper. My salt's right down here. Hi, how are you? So here we go. Water on. What I'm doing here. Well, don't worry what I'm doing. I can't remember why people take baths with rice and they do stuff to their armpits with the soap bar and stuff like that. But yeah, we're just gonna clean off the rice. Water off. See that? It's going pee pee. And you wanna shake the pee pee off. You know, when you go, when you, men, men. Yes. When you go to the bathroom, you gotta shake it off. No more, cause you don't wanna soak your underwear. Okay. We're gonna toss this right into my little beautiful Instapot. We're gonna take our frozen veggies. Boom. The Lord gave us these veggies and we're gonna eat these veggies. Amen. This much salt and pour it all in here. This much salt. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna pour it all up in here. All right. Crack pepper, yes? Yes. Crackity, 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 crack. Keep it light, because I like to uh, let the rice do the talking. Cuban spice. We're gonna let it snow a little bit. Snow, 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 snow. That's about five shakes. I lost count at one. This is an experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Rosemary from Spain. I am going to add dashes. I wanna try something new and see what the rosemary does. I'm stirring. I'm not making butter, but I'm stirring. You're saying, Hans, you're missing something. No, I'm not. I know, broth. Two cups of rice, one bowl. <laughs> of veggies. Precise. Two cups, I'm doing vegetable broth because this is a dialysis meal. We have to get our veggies in somehow. While I'm doing all this, I'll explain a little bit about the restrictions we have, or maybe I'll talk about it while I'm cutting the vegetables because watching me cut vegetables is pretty goddamn boring. We're going to add in about a little extra. I did about half a cup extra of liquid. I know we have butter somewhere around here. Found it. Here you go. Thank you, my good friend. Is this necessary? No. Is it good? Yes. yes. Drop in about a tablespoon of butter. Just do it. Treat yourself. We have all of our ingredients together. Look around for my lid. Find my lid. Put my lid right on. Make sure my seal is sealed. And hit pressure cook for three minutes. I was cooking something else the other day. You wanna know what it was? What was it? Baby back ribs. <laughs> we're putting this on high pressure for three minutes. We're gonna pressure cook this for three minutes. Then we're gonna let it naturally release for 10 minutes. While that's all happening, I'm gonna cut some beautiful vegetables. <laughs> Once you're done punching the chicken, you season it. We got the rice done, or so we think. I like to season the chicken while I clean off and um, cut up my vegetables. How I season it is how I season it. Some salt. Shabba-dabba-dabba-doo. It should look like snow. 
Cracked pepper, bam, bam, bam. When I make this meal, I use ghost peppers. This one is just normal red chili flakes. Very, 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 very light. Cause I'm trying to get Brian used to heat. Never gonna happen. <laughs> what are we blessing this with? Uh, Mary's five, five spice. Did I say it right? You said it right. Do I get a treat? Mary's five spice. Oh baby, this whole thing is all for you. I get a treat. Boom. Come on in there, Brian. Just enough to flavor it. We're gonna be cooking this in butter and oil. We have seasoned our chicken. Time to cut those vegetables. Uh. Don't let raw meat defeat your immune system. We turn water off. Towel, dry, hands, discard. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, Chef Ramsey. I love you a lot. We're gonna be cutting up vegetables. Before I cut up vegetables, I wanna talk a little bit about um, dialysis. If you're O positive and you're out there and you wanna give me a kidney, write me a letter. Give the guy a kidney, I mean, come on. We have onions, we have celery, we have beautiful colorful carrots. Uh -huh. The sound you are hearing is not from my anus. <laughs> There's really nothing to explain. You're gonna see me peel the carrots, you're gonna see me chop the vegetables. I, as a dialysis patient, cannot have things high in potassium, high in phosphorus. So we're gonna keep that out of our meals today. But we're still gonna try to eat as healthy as possible and nourish our body as best as we can because these dialysis machines only clean about 15% of our body. So we have like a lot of toxins in our body and you know, so I wanna try to show you guys something healthy, something that can rejuvenate you just a little bit. Blippity bloppity blue, here we go. Ah! for me why can't real life be like time lapse that took forever i need a snooze for a second hello ding dong come on in i season my veggies we have our beautiful colorful marapois stop it hans you do that way too much you're naughty naughty mare's five spice a pinch of it time to cook some chicken Folks, the rice has finished. Remember, we pressure cooked it for three minutes and then we let it slowly rest on its own for 10 minutes. Ooh, shake that baby. We're gonna take it. Ooh, fluff it around a little bit. That smells really good. That smells really good. That smells really good. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun today. I cover it back up to keep it nice and warm. That, my friend, is the sound of rice finishing up. Shh, Barry, Barry, relax. I know you want the chicken right now, but this is for Brian and I. I know it's a lot of chicken. Oh, hey folks, sorry about that. Whoa, hi, hey, hey. We are going to take some oil. We're gonna drizzle that oil the same way you drizzle the oil on your body. A beautiful cube of butter. I know, treat yourself. But if I'm not mistaken, we are allowed to have a little bit of butter. Here we go. We have oil and butter warming up, getting all toasty. Wah, wah, nice. nice and toasty. Pop -pan. Pop -pan. Cooking the chicken on both sides. When I put the chicken in here, I'm gonna put it on the seasoned side. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna season the other side. How was that time lapse, everybody? Oops, sorry. <laughs> We're cooking chicken on the other side. It's just about ready. We're gonna take tongs and rest it on our board. 
While that's all resting, we're gonna take all this beautiful juice. I just don't know. I didn't like the way he was cooking that chicken. It was, uh, it's just not my bag, baby. And let our vegetables soak it up. Here we go. Tongs. Heat off. Sizzle down. Chicken. Chicken grab. I'm gonna try to leave a lot of this juice right in the caboose, AKA the pan. You wanna know why? I tell you why, cause I want flavor. And when I get flavor, I get happy. Sometimes he gets so happy, he, he has like this beautiful leg that just grows. Uh, yes, what he said. Talking about his penis. I promise that will be edited out. Look at all that chicken. Chicken has been resting. Look at that juice. We got the butter, we got the oil, we got juice from the chicken, we got the seasoning from the chicken. We're gonna put the heat back on. Mr. Mom, chicken mom, Man, mom. bring me a beer. <laughs> Taking our beautiful cut vegetables. I like to mix up my veggies. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that. Mm. Oh gosh, beautiful, colorful. And we're gonna reduce this. this is, all of this is gonna shrink at some point. When? We won't know. A scoop of garlic. Waba. A scoop of garlic. Waba. Ginger. Two scoops of ginger. We're gonna mix that up. Oh, Brian, get close, man. With your nose, though, not just the camera. Smell that, baby. Mmm. Yeah, that that's what I'm good. talking about. That's what I'm good, talking about. good. Take a beautiful bottle of wine. You can use red wine, you can use white wine because we're gonna cook it down and reduce it. Why I'm talking about this is because I'm on dialysis. Us dialysis patients can only have about one liter of fluid a day. So I'm gonna put one liter of wine in here and we're gonna reduce it down. You're gonna say, gosh, I can eat this every day. Here we are. I want to mention one thing that I almost, almost forgot to put in. Thyme and rosemary. Once I started reducing the uh, wine, I put in the chicken. You want to moisten the beast back up. It's done. It's ready. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why is the chicken purple? We added some delicious red wine to it and we reduced it down. Red. Wine. Wed wine. Wed we, wine. We, and we reduce the tail. The chicken is done. The rice back there is done. I think it's almost time to play. It's now time to play. Mm-hmm. What I'm doing here is reducing the uh, wine down a little bit more. I don't want it to be that moist. Because why? We're only allowed one liter of fluid a day. Tappity tappity tap. You know me. It's gonna f uh. tap a thousand times. The beauty of leaving these in, and you can tie them up with, with like rope and whatnot. I don't because I'm a little lazy, you know, I'm tired. I just want to throw it in. But the beauty of this is you get all the flavors and you still can pull the sticks out very, very, fairly easy. You kind of want to shake them just like you want to shake tatas. You want to fluff. Fluff the baby up. Notice how much veggies we are having today. We are having a lot of veggies. Why? Because we need to take care of ourselves. What I have here is a beautiful bowl. I have beautiful chicken ready to be eaten. I have rice ready to be eaten. I'm hungry today, so I'm gonna use the bat to get a mouth of food. Boom. We have a bed of rice. Time for night night with the chicken. We give it a couple slices and dices. I'm gonna put my chicken right back. Look at that beautifulness right there. We're gonna take our wine reduction sauce. We spin it, we spin it, we spin it, we shake it, it, shake it. We do it, the do, do we the doing. We do the things that we do with the doings. Remember I said we can easily take this out? What the hell, I'm like, I'm making food here and there's plants growing in my food. Mm. Oh, 
all of that flavors right in there. We're gonna take this, we're gonna shake it. Ooh, I think we're changing the name of this, Brian. What do you think? I think we're gonna have to call it Purple Chicken and Rice. Purple Chicken and Rice, I like it. We're gonna have to write it on the board because the board is important. Hello. We have rice. We cooked our chicken. Eat the damn thing. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. Stay on for the camera. Stay on target. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. That's a heart attack meal. A pure deliciousness. I want to say, Brian, as always, thank you so much for filming this. I mean, you've been cradling me for a long time and you just mm. have a bite of food now. I want to thank all the people who are watching this. Thank you people who have been subscribing, who have been liking. Please keep doing what you're doing. It's helping me do what I do. I want to say stay strong to all my dialysis friends. It sucks. Please visit kidneyforhans.com and we'll see you next time on our final season, Shepherd. Final season. No, we gotta do this for Oh shit, my bad. Oh our, no. And stay tuned for our final episode of Shepherd's Pie. But season two will be right next week. We'll be back right next week. Whatever. I'm here. This was good. Thank you.